In this simulation, we will demonstrate a cyber attack targeting an ICS system. ICS are systems that control industrial technologies. In our case, it is a power plant. ICS, or also known as SCADA networks, are generally very vulnerable to external influences, since any change can directly lead to a restriction or complete shutdown, which subsequently leads to a huge damage to the organization and their customers. Even though we attempt to isolate ICS systems from the internet and outsiders in general, we will never be able to contain all threats. A supplier service engineer enters the control room to perform operations and maintenance checks beyond the scope of surveillance system. He connects to the technological network and accesses the control PLC. His notebook is infected with malware, which is activated only when connected to the control network. Obviously, the engineer isn't aware of this. At the start of his maintenance activities, all indicators are normal. We're now looking at the temperature of the cooling medium in the tetra circuit. The state of the system and activities of the engineer are constantly monitored by the local surveillance center. Nothing suggests anything unusual yet. The engineer carries out his activities. However, in the background, an attack on the control system is now underway in order to gain unauthorized access to one of the power stations and disrupt the generation of electricity. Meanwhile, identification of potentially vulnerable systems in the network is in progress. The monitor's indicators still seem to be normal. The surveillance system for the production of electrical energy does not show any anomalies. However, the system has been compromised and the temperature of the cooling medium is rising. The engineer has finished his work, disconnected from the system and now leaving the facility. When a critical temperature is reached, an alarm is triggered. The engineer immediately moves to the technical room to check the cause of the alarm. The technical room is already full of smoke. The engineer is manually shutting the system down to remediate the situation. This power plant was fortunate to have an engineer on site who could manually intervene. If that hadn't been the case, the damage would have been inevitable. Now let's have a look at how little it takes to detect and resolve problem in timely manner. At the time of connecting to the control network, Flomon ADS identified a new device in the network. This is expected behavior because the new device was actually connected. During the engineer's activity, malware looks for the devices in the network which can be attacked. The scan runs on port 139, the Samba protocol, which has a number of vulnerabilities. Subsequently, malware attacks the vulnerable station in order to gain unauthorized access, escalate permissions and damage the production process. We can see an event that represents the described attack. Monitoring and early detection of cyber attacks in ICS and SCADA environments is absolutely essential. Their separation and isolation from the surrounding environment doesn't mean they cannot be a target for an attack. ICS systems are functional and reliable, but based on legacy technologies, which goes hand in hand with their security. Imagine this case happened in a nuclear power plant. That said, monitoring of the network, visibility and early detection are vital.